Last night's Republican debate was the highest rated broadcast in the history of the Fox News Channel. The Nielsen Company says an estimated 24 million people watched the debate involving 10 of the Republican presidential candidates. That more than doubles the channel's best ratings in the past for election night in 2012. If your child isn't already back in school, he or she soon will be. Pediatricians say a few days before school starts, you want to ease back into sleep and breakfast routines. Most kids under 12 need 10 to 11 hours of sleep. Older kids should get at least 9 hours. You may want to move their bedtimes back about 15 to 20 minutes every couple days before classes start. Airlines are charging customers for seats with extra leg room, checked baggage, and food. But how about getting off the airplane ahead of fellow passengers? In a new survey from FlightView, 22% of people said they would be willing to pay a fee to get off the plane first. North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un does things his own way. Now his government is creating its own time zone. Clocks will be pushed back 30 minutes starting August 15th. That's the 70th anniversary of Korea's liberation after Japan's surrender in World War II. The government says it's scuttling the current time zone because it is a legacy of Japanese imperialist crimes. Two California teenagers have an electrifying love story. The two were walking along a tree-lined street in Claremont when a doctor suspects they were hit by lightning. They were knocked to the ground and didn't really know what hit them. Doctors say their lives were probably spared because they were holding hands which helped diffuse the electrical current which ran through their bodies. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.